Hello everybody, Danny Shay. On a Monday, Politics Monday, so I'm back at my table. Um, I'm going to be doing a video later on Lionsgate, doing a little, uh, what, what I'm going to do as far as rituals go for Lionsgate. So that'll be up next. And, but today, and I wanted to separate them because... Um, because I did. I don't want to add that to politics. So politics, politics Monday, back at my table. It's, um, let's just look at the week ahead and then we're going to look at, um, Trump news because we haven't gotten enough of it. Ay, ay, ay. <clears throat> That new uh, attorney that Trump has, he's, it's, it's nuts. He's been on the news. He was on the Sunday shows, like five different Sunday shows or something. And isn't he supposed to be in court today saying why, um, why Trump can, should be able to continue to spew his BS? What deck should I use for the week ahead? Let's use the Wild Unknown. Because it feels like it's a Wild Unknown week. I haven't used this deck in a while. So. Shuffling well. That's good. So the week ahead, we have Lionsgate coming up tomorrow. 8-8. Um, eight, eight. Um, I have not seen any astrology for the week, so I don't know what that will bring. <sighs> week ahead, what can we expect? It's, you know, just a lot of, oh, man, I'm getting so many phone calls now, spam calls or whatever, and I, I made a mistake of um, saying stop to one of these. And now I'm getting flooded. You can't even say stop anymore. Stop with the texts. And then you get flooded with all these calls. Okay. The week ahead. Let's just, uh, let's pull, should I pull seven? Just in a row as a week? Yeah, let's do that. Here we go. Ooh, bullseye. Okay, so I'm not sure what that means yet. But it's right on target, Ace of Pentacles. If I was using the Halloween deck, which I'm gonna eat later, that would be Mr. Pumpkinhead. Ace of Pentacles, moving on the chariot. Someone's going to get hurt. Someone's got ten of swords stuck in them. And then we have the two of cups coming together. Ace of Swords, the Devil. This is about Mr. Pumpkinhead. Loss. Let me let me see if I can pull this down. I need a bigger table. Maybe I just need to clear things up. Move things around. Sorry. Here we go. Let's drop it down. Can you see? Can you see? So, Ace of Pentacles, Chariot, um, Ten of Swords, Two of Cups. So, this is the first four days. Here we go with the next three days. Um, two Aces, two beginnings coming with it. There's a lot of movement. Uh, there's a lot of being tied to some addiction. Um, a completion card that 
feels like with these swords that it's it's gonna hurt a little bit. Um, <clears throat> there's a small there's a small coming together of somebody is what I'm getting with this. Um, a small group that gets to get together. Some big legal information coming out. And at the base of the, at the, the end, the end of the week is, is loss, the five of cups. It's sadness. <clears throat> I want to pull some clarifiers on that just because, because I can. Um, what does that five of cups represent this deck does not want to shuffle yikes maybe i need another deck what does this five of what does this five of cups mean it's not an you know the way i have this spread out is that this could be the you know the overall feeling of the week and we saw today well i saw today that judge cannon which i'm going to read on her um may have opened herself up to be removed from that Florida documents case. She wants Jack Smith to come in, the DOJ to come in, and explain why um, they have another grand jury in another district. <laughs> we'll get into that. What does this Five of Cups mean? Five of Cups, what does it mean? Family. Comfort, feminine energy, family comfort, feminine energy, loss, family comfort. Hmm. Well, with these, family comfort and feminine energy, it takes me back to. Um, that we, we've got to get away from the news a little bit. We're going to be on this roller coaster, and if we are attached too much to, you know, every bit of it, it's, it's not going to be good. That's what I'm getting with it. Stick within uh, the family, the community. Um, Lionsgate certainly allows us to move beyond the news, so I think that will be it. What I'm generally getting from this spread is that there's two new things that are going to be coming up. Um, there's going to be a lot of movement, a lot of endings, a lot of pain with this Ten of, of Swords. Um, for us being addicted or the devil and it's going to be sadness if I read this in just Trump land if I read this in just Trump land it means there's new indictments coming Georgia um, but old indictments the what Jack Smith has just put out there um, he's going to get shut down in in D.C. and that judge is going to not make him very happy. He's going to tell him to shut up. Muzzle that boy. That didn't sound right. Anyway. Let's take a look. I've written some things out. Um, we are going to be using my pumpkin head deck. Yay! All right. Let's see what I have 
written to myself. Me. Pumpkinhead news. We talked about his new attorney. Let's see how that worked for him, that new attorney. Um, it's interesting. We were watching on Chuck Todd. I, I still fall back to my old standbys. I should just like not watch that guy anymore. He drives me nuts because he doesn't follow up with any questions and he lets him keep talking. I, on some of my YouTube clips, Dana Bash seems to like just go, no, that's bullshit. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Chuck Todd just goes, okay, and doesn't follow up with any good questions. So um, let's look at Pumpkinhead's new attorney, whatever that guy is. Um, is he good? Is he bad? Is he, is he, is he, let's, what's the 411 on this, on this new attorney? Alina Haba, Haba da -ba -da -ba. She was on one of the news things and she said, I think there's going to be an indictment in the next few weeks in, in Atlanta. Weeks? Can you say days? I don't know. They just seem so delusional. Like, okay. Mr. Pumpkinhead's lawyer, 411. Um, I can see him, but I can't remember his name. Doesn't matter. Ooh. King of Pentacles. The King of Pumpkins. So, for those who are new to this channel... Um, I have a number of cards from Mr. Pumpkinhead. The King of Pentacles is one of them. Pumpkins are pentacles. Um, the other one is the Ace of Pentacles, and if it comes out, you'll understand why I say that. So, Mr. Pumpkinhead's lawyer, the King of Pentacles, being challenged by temperance. Ooh, balance. Ooh. Uh, and it's more of when I got this temperance image, um, more of Mr. You better be careful type thing. Uh, you can't go out on a limb and start spouting this stuff off. You're going to have to tone it down, bring it down. At the base of the reading is the page of bats and bats Again, I haven't used this deck in a while. Bats are swords, page of swords. So this is all about new, um, new legal things coming out, new legal challenges, young, I'll just leave it at new legal challenges. But there's something in that, that purse that they have, that this guy has, that is, I'm not sure what it is, but it's, it's like a little secret. So something's going to be coming out. Now, I'm, as I pull this card, I'm thinking, is this, is this um, the lawyer's card or is this somebody, the legal system coming at him card? I think it's his, but let's keep going. Um, ooh, Asa Imps. Asa Imps. So this is the wands. And uh, there is, in the past, this is like, in normal decks, this would be like my Fred Flintstone card. But this one, you know, it's like, bam, bam, beating you over the head with some new information. But in this deck, this... This purple hand coming out of a green cloud, you know, which you don't see every day, but these are unusual times. He's got this crazy imp by the tail, 
and he's trying to this okay this feels like the new lawyer trying to get a hold of Trump by the tail and Trump is just like wow all over the place throwing things around tantrums <laughs> he's throwing his tantrums all around <laughs> And that judge is trying to find balance and temperance in this craziness. Okay. Okay. Top of the reading. Oops. Uh -oh. <laughs> we will see the Ace of Pumpkins. All right. So I flipped the deck over by mistake because I was getting all crazy with that card. Um, at the top of the reading. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ten of bats, ten of swords. This lawyer is underwater. He, hi little spidey. I got a little spidey hanging on my window or inside. I don't know. Anyway, um, that was not a squirrel moment. It was a spider moment. Anyway, 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 this thing. This lawyer trying to rein in Donald Trump. It's going to put him underwater. It is, it, it's not the death card, but it's like, it hurts. He's going to have a tough, tough time. In the potential near future, another one of my cards for Trump, the devil card. This is addiction. This is, um, why did Adderall just come into my mind? This is uh, the devil leading his little minions and not into a good place. Okay. All right. Um, internally, what's going on with this attorney? It's the hermit. He's trying to come up with something. Um, he's, he's trying to create this almost feels like a, a magician card but he, he's this crazy scientist that's mixing these potions together to come up with something and it's trying to put mr pumpkinhead's brain back into the proper sphere <laughs> proper sphere um externally Yikes, he's worried. Nine of Ghosts. This is the Nine of Cups. This is more of the wish card, so I think it's more of a wishful thinking. Um, he thinks all those ghosts are going to be okay. Eh, nothing to see here. Just a bunch of ghosts. <laughs> really, but he's scared. He's scared of them ghosts. Hopes and fears. I'll just leave it to what the card says. Justice. Hopes and fears. Justice. And the final outcome for the lawyer is the two of M's. Okay. So he is... I think he's going to be trying to keep people from from fighting in this deck i mean normal wands two of wands it's like a plan that's going to be coming to fruition in the future um and and he's kind of looking overseas a little bit but in this deck the two of imps he's like he's trying to manage it's it's almost like a justice card a referee card with it and at the base of the deck um, you have the Knight of Pumpkins, the Knight of Pentacles, slow moving knight. We do have Mr. Pumpkinhead. We have the Page of Pumpkins, some new information coming out. And then we have the Four of Pumpkins. It's a little bit about money, too. Um, there's going to be some money issues with this guy. Um, he's going to try to bring something new in 
is what I'm getting, but I think it's the judge that's just going to keep things on track. And I don't know how many cases this this judge, I mean this this new attorney, is going to be working on. Um, it it feels just like a, a crazy crazy ride for him. Especially, I mean, he's, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, chariot, moving on. Okay, so maybe that's me. Move on, Danny. Switch gears. But let's look at, um, that new judge, uh, what's her name in D.C.? What's the judge's name in D.C.? Do I have it? I don't have it. Oh, Judge Chutkan. Chutkan? Ask. You know, it, it's just going to be fun to watch to see her shut this down. Remember, she's, this isn't her first rodeo. That's what they all like to say. This ain't my first rodeo, you know. You know what I'm saying? And that's what she's saying. And Trump is trying all his old stuff. And I think he's getting to the point where he, not to the point, but I think he's going, I've done this before but it's all been civil, not federal. This is a whole new ball game, Mr. Bunkenhead. All right, so let's look at um, Trump versus Judge Chutkin. Is that the right pronunciation? You guys will correct me. Chutkin, C-H-U-T-K-A-N. Trump versus, how's that going to work out for Mr. Pumpkinhead? Because I'm using the Pumpkinhead deck. How is that going to work out for Mr. Pumpkinhead? Psychic Duck, do you have anything you want to say? <laughs> That's it? You're just laughing? Yeah. Okay. That's all he had to say. Come on, Psychic Duck. You can, you can come in. Get in the picture. Right there. Is that where you want to be? Okay. All right. Psychic duck. Oh, psychic duck just gave me a hit. But I don't think I don't think I can say it on YouTube. Psychic duck has a foul mouth sometimes. All right. Trump versus Chutkin. Psychic Duck's still laughing. Okay. Trump versus Chutkin. Oh. Two of Bats. Okay, so the Two of Bats. This is, um, it's, it's a little bit like Justice. You have the blindfold on, right? But it's which way do we go with this? Um, you have a decision to make. You have both swords of legal justice, swords of truth. And it's like, pick one. <laughs> That's what I just heard. Pick a truth, pick a sword. And I don't, I'm just thinking Trump's not gonna be able to win. Uh-oh, Mr. Pumpkinhead, there he is, the two of bats, and Mr. Pumpkinhead's right on top. And you can see why I call him Mr. Pumpkinhead, because look, his brains are coming out of his pumpkin head. He's delusional, he's cray. Okay, so, and he's being held up by a purple hand. I mean, how much more crazy can you get? No offense to purple hands. One-eyed. 
What is it? The one-eyed flying purple people eater? One-eyed one horn flying purple people eater. All right. Now you know where my brain's at. Too much sugar. Okay. Uh, so two swords of justices is what I'm getting with these two of bats. I read these cards totally different than other than other decks. Two swords of justice. The guy can't get away from this. He's being covered by sugar. You have a new page of pumpkins, a new strategy. Is this the attorney? I don't know. Um, <clears throat> you have the page of ghosts. Someone's going to try to bring out um, some new information, but it's, it's it doesn't have any meat on it. And you can see, look what's in the cup. It's just a fish bone. It has no meat on it. And something's going to be exposed. It, it's already been exposed, um, but it's going to come to light more because this is in the past as it relates to this, to these cards. So something in the past that they're going to try to bring up that just doesn't make any sense. And you can already see that with the change of venue and things like that. Okay. At the top of the reading, we already saw this, the two of imps. This feels like the judge is, is um, in control and is going to pull these two imps apart. And then what else do we have? We have the knight of imps. And so this knight of imps, knight of wands, um, I'm not sure who that is in this deck yet. Let's just keep going real quick. Six of imps, they're, they're just moving forward with this. Um, somebody's house is a little askew. Hopes and fears are that the emperor, um, well, he can put it, he can put his brain back into his head that's the hope, but the fear is it isn't going to happen because that's his brain. And the final outcome between um, this judge and, and Trump in this case, the chariot. This is uh, it's a hearse. So it's not the death card. It's after. It's like, get in, we're taking you away. Bye-bye. Ace of bats, nine of imps, page of imps. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of rhetoric that's going to be coming out. Um, but there's just a lot of worry, too. With the ace of bats, um, you've, got this, you've got this idea that is just upside down. Um, it's, I think bats are swords. Yeah, so whatever their legal uh, truth is, it, it's upside down in this card. It's like, oh, it looks good. No, it doesn't. He's got the nine of uh, imps, which is all this worry. No, no. And the emperor just wants to put his brain back in his head. And there was no magician card to do that. All right. So um, let's dig into, I'm going to use a, a real deck now. I want to look into um, Jack Smith. How's he feeling? How's Jack Smith feeling? Psychic Duck, you have anything you want to say? Oh, he's feeling good. Psychic Duck says Jack Smith is feeling good. Jack Smith. He is looking. He's looking over the landscape, his ocean, and he's looking at ships coming in or ships going out. 
Um, but he's just surveying things. He's just got things under control with this three of wands. And things are coming together for him, finally, right? Um, there's something new that's coming out with Jack Smith. So we know that we have Atlanta coming up, but there's also something new with Jack Smith coming up, which is the Eileen Cannon thing, I think. Psychic Duck says, you think, right? We have the King of Wands in the past as it relates to this, bringing forth information. And at the top of the reading is the Empress, but it came out reversed. I'm getting a real strong pull to um, Eileen Cannon here. And there is a plan that is coming to fruition. And it's bigger than, um, than just the Mar-a-Lago documents case. He's got the world in his hand. Internally, it's about family money. So this, that goes back to the racketeering thing, but it's also about family riches. So I think this goes back to Bedminster, family riches. Um, that is the internal position. The external position is my Democratic card, celebration, 10 of cups, hopes and fears, a new truth coming out. It depends on which side of the pumpkin you're on. And uh, the final outcome is going back to a simpler time with the Six of Cups. This simpler time of the rule of law, it's not that complicated. You don't take secret documents. Stash them in your bathroom. I was gonna say something, but I'm not going to. And then we have the Knight of Wands as a clarifier, more information coming out. And Five of Cups, there's some loss that is associated with this. Who's that loss for? This is Jack Smith's reading. So there's, uh, let's just kind of see, he's got a, a battle on his hands, but he's still standing with the Nine of Wands. And it, it may be that there's a suspension or that he has to look at it something a different way, but that's, that's why it's um, kind of, you know, that's why he has that five of cups. And then we got the wheel of fortune. And this card did come out upside down. So it doesn't feel like it's a slam dunk as we thought it was. It's by no means a loss. I mean, you got that card. Um, in this Wheel of Fortune too, it could mean um, if this is the Eileen Cannon case, um, Jack Smith just dealing with the upside down Empress in, in uh, Florida canon, um, it could say that her Wheel of Fortune, her time's up, and that they need to look at things from a different point of view. Um, so let's just take a look at that, because I see with, with the Jack Smith spread um, that you know, he is, he's on track, but whoever this upside down empress is, um, may be in, may be in trouble. She may be hung up, side down, hung out to dry. And 
there are there is reason. So let's go into Eileen Cannon in the Mar-a-Lago case. Um, she disclosed the existence of another uh, grand jury documents investigation in another district. And that, that is either um, showing bias or ignorance with her latest ruling, according to Andrew Weissman. And Psychic Duck just said, well, why not both? Ignorance and bias. And Psychic Duck is right. Why not both? So let's look to see if <clears throat> Eileen Cannon is going to stay in this case or if the 11th uh, Circuit is going to give her the boot um, because of this. That's kind of what I was getting with that last poll. Um, but let's dig in and see if we can clarify that. I never saw her sticking around. Um, in my previous readings, when, when she was first assigned the case, I said, she's gone. She's not going to be there long. And what does long mean? I mean... 10 minutes, that seems like forever in Trump land because it's just blah, 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 blah. It's Mr. Pumpkinhead. His brains are all out. It's the emperor in the Pumpkinhead deck with his brains in a jar. And it's just like, oh, how long do we have to endure? Woo. Okay. Uh, Eileen Cannon, I'm just thinking, you know, shuffling, thinking, Eileen Cannon. There she is, Eileen Cannon. Uh-oh, ow. Ow. And her, I mean, one sword in the heart, okay. Two swords, not pleasant. Three, ow. Three strikes, she's gone. Okay, Eileen Cannon. Let's just pull six real quick. 37 minutes. Eileen Cannon. Are you still going to be dealing with your Mar-a-Lago case? Eileen Cannon. Bye-bye. <laughs> six of swords. Moving on to calmer waters. Being covered by hard at work. Stealing something. She's trying, she's sneaking into camp. She's taking people's defenses. And that's, she snuck into Jack Smith's other investigation and stole some of his swords. Not really. But, you know, by, by announcing, what are you doing with this other grand jury? She shouldn't be saying that. Okay. So, um, she's got some things in the past that are coming up to bite her. Already we've seen things in the past with her that have, uh, have been very questionable and just not in, in this case. Uh, as Andrew Weissman said, let me just quote him. Um, oh, that was her latest ruling. Okay. Ignorance or biased in her latest ruling. But there's been questionable things that she did that showed that she's really not up to the task of, of her position. Okay. At the top of the reading, the Wheel of Fortune. This is karmic. This is coming around to bite her. And in the potential near future is the Ten of Pentacles, is the family. Hmm. Hmm. The family. Is this the Federalist Society that is like keeping her in there? In this deck, the writer, wait, regular old, um, you have somebody watching to Pete. You have the old wise gentleman looking over 
two members of his family having a little chat, a little bickerment. Bickerment? Bickering. Okay, bickering. Um, I think this is the 11th circuit. But let's, do, let's just keep going with this real quick. Okay, you've got loss. You've got embattled. You've got a blind choice, hopes and fears. Is she staying? Is she going? She's going. I'm going to drop this down for you guys who read tarot and you can see what I have here. Because I said I was only going to do six. I did the full spread. She's moving on. There's a lot of hard work that is going into this. She was trying to steal something, something uh, from the from the dark waters is coming out from her past. Her wheel of fortune is spinning around. She has the Federalist or some family issues um, that are in the potential near future. And she has somebody watching these two people bicker. Uh, I think this is the 11th Circuit. Loss, embattlement, still standing. Um, the, but she's got... I like this as, as a justice card, too. You know, you can go either way, but you've got to be blind, and she's not. And then she's going to get kicked out, moved on. Okay, Aline Cannon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. Um, I wanted to look into Georgia. Georgia, Georgia, Georgia. It's coming. They blocked off the streets. Um, we should hear news today or tomorrow. Um, Lori, Sheila, and I are going to be reading together on Wednesday. I think it's live. I'm not. I, it's going to be on my channel, but I, I don't know if we're going to live stream it all the way around. But um, I know we're going to dig into that. We're going to get some news. But Lori was asking me um, to ask Psychic Duck when when we thought that that Trump was going to be indicted down in Georgia. I conferred with Psychic Duck, and Psychic Duck said that there is going to be. Um, Oh, Psychic Duck says, don't you put words in my mouth. Okay, so this is me. I think what's going to go on is that there's going to be indictments coming before Trump this week. So maybe Lindsey Graham, Rudy Giuliani, um, the Kraken woman, whoever was in that around that phone call. And then next week, I got Tuesday of next week. Trump is going to be indicted. Doesn't really matter. Just guess game. Okay. So. Georgia. The streets are being blocked off. 411. What do we have to know? about that case. In battle, she's been through a lot, Bonnie Willis. Ooh, ooh. Someone's getting stabbed in the back. Yikes, there's a lot of loss. Who is this? You have the hermit up at the top that's shedding some light. Um, you have the nine of wands um, being covered by somebody who's really looking at like the whole picture. The Ten of Swords in the past. Internally, Georgia, we have the Star. Yay, Star of Hope. Externally, we have the Lovers. This is that Rico charges that's, you know, all the, the people coming together. Strength. And a new charge. Okay. New beginning. New emotional start. 
and the Page of Pentacles. Um, there's going to be, let me drop it down. So up at the top here, you have the Hermit with the Page of Swords, Ace of Cups, and Page of Pentacles. There is shedding a light on new legal challenge, new legal um, worries for whoever that is. Um, that's going to give us a new beginning and it's a new a new case new something coming through and it's based on strength um, star hope the lover's card I don't want to be that guy or that guy so We've been talking about this for a long, long, long time. Let's just sit back, watch it play out. Um, as I said in my Lion's Gate, set your intentions of what you want, what you don't want. I don't want to be dealing with this political noise anymore. Unfortunately, we're going to have to because it's going to be this roller coaster to the end of the year for sure, if not longer. Um, just stay grounded. Things are working out. Things are getting um, aligned and, and we have so many cases. People are getting tired. They're saying um, this is making him stronger. It's not. What do you think, Psychic Duck? He says, hell no. It is not making him stronger. Um, people are saying that Biden's polls are down. Pfft, come on. Let me just let me just say, come on, man. No, no. I mean, look at what that man has done. You know, yeah, he's old. Yeah, he's old. But look what he's done. Look. Oh, anyway. Anyway. He isn't that old. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. Appreciate every single one of y'all. Peace and love.